All right, so I got the staccato out of there, got stuck for a minute. We're gonna go over how to uh, modify the holster so it takes SRO and the RMR HD now. And uh, yeah, I want it to fit, so I'm gonna make it fit. I just take off all the fasteners. I made this plug so that the threaded barrel fits in there. Right. I forgot I needed a Phillips. I got a Phillips. Just gonna take everything apart. Speed run style. Because my wife tells me my videos take too long. So I'm gonna try and be quicker this time. I'm gonna take all of this off. Yes. Loosen it all. Sorry about that. Turn that off. Take that off. All right. Now what you actually have to modify is this thing right up here in here. Now, when you get it new for the staccato, it has like a big wall over here. And I guess that's so that nothing gets hung up. But I mean, depending on your draw and stuff, I don't know. I'm, I just want it to fit. And I kind of don't care about that. So what you do is, just the bottom cap. You force it open, not breaking anything. Oh. I forgot about that. I'm pretty sure that they won't warranty this. Just watch out with a little spring in there. Yep, and that's it. Simple little spring. Now I can take this thing out. There's that side, that side, and it comes out. That. Okay, and the way that this goes on is that in here, this holds on to the chamber area, so this is clear, okay. And uh, put the safety on because you guys like that. So where's it getting stuck? Right here. What I do is I use a, a big radius tool on the Dremel, and I just contour, I contour, and contour. And I do it very slowly, because the point is for it to fit in here, right? This ledge right here, see where it's wearing? Has to fit in here, right? And it kind of does, but it's still too close. So we can see it's crashing right here. Right here, the corners, the sharp corners of, the, of this is hitting that. So I'm going to go contour it. And I'll be back and I'll bring the tool and show you what I did. Okay, I'm back. I use this little drum sander on the Dremel and just contour it away a little bit and fitting it all the time. So now when it goes in, it's smooth, pops out, goes in, and all of hinges here. So, wah, wah. And now that fits, but it has a little tiny, tiny bit of play. And now we're going to put it back together. Open it up. Put the little leg in. Fit everything in the holes. Okay. Goes back in like that. Match up these holes here for the mounting. Okay. You're going to have to put this back in also. Because uh, it's kind of important, I think, to have this little... Um, cap in here you just kind of wiggle it in snaps into place okay and i honestly have no particular order that i do this in i just kind of do it pretty quick mm -hmm. put that in there 
long one goes in here. I won't tighten that down yet because I want the the thread barrel to push down that adapter into there. Now, this thing, you hook it in like that and you just twist it and then it goes back on like this. And a little screw. Just like that. That one's done. And you get this thing and uh, you put it back. Basically put everything back the way you found it. Okay. Super simple. Again, I'm sorry. Okay. This just pops on. There is that. Okay moves and then uh, I'll put that on later so out. see that so I was a little bit embarrassed the other video that I got stuck okay now it goes in and out and this will work with the SRO I'll put that on off camera but now you can see now it fits and I got that plug in there so I'm going to tighten everything down now. And I hope this helps somebody. Because I figured it out so nobody else have to. Okay. Have a good day.